How's it going everybody? So on this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, <clears throat> make up a saw chain uh, with two basic hand tools. Um, a lot of people don't have a breaker and a spinner. I certainly don't. Uh, I would love to have one, have a couple rolls of chain, but uh, that's just not the case. So uh, the store I buy my saw chain from only had 36 inch loops. They had no 32. So I bought a 36, I'm gonna cut it down and uh, show you guys how I do that with basic hand tools. What you're gonna need, of course, a master link. <clears throat> and then you're gonna need a file. Everybody should have a flat file. Um, and a ball peen hammer, or any hammer would work. Um, and obviously a hard surface to bang on. In my case, I'm gonna use an old ax head. So anyway, I'm gonna get busy filing this down. I'll bring you guys in closer and show you what I do uh with that okay as you guys can see there's our master link where the factory had put this chain together normally that is mostly that is uh probably the wink weakest link is that uh master link right there um so we're going to take the flat file and we're going to file these rivets down on the green side that's the side they spin them on No. may move around you can even take a pair of pliers and hold on to it but oh, some people might not have pliers hope they do but what you want to do is take this uh, material down all the way uh, to the green uh, drive link or master link that way you can pop that link apart. Normally what I do when I get it down that far or I get it flush um, is I'll take and hit it with my hammer and it'll pop it. Um, you can even take a grinder and use a grinding wheel and take that down. Brand new flat file would be nice. Um, this one is well used, uh, but it's still doing a good job. It is hard to hold this. Um, obviously, if you got clamps, pliers, I do, but I'm just trying to show that it can be done without a bunch of tools. So now you got your rivet filed down it should go now um now you can hit it with the hammer you can try and flex it uh i've had good luck using a hammer if you have a punch use a punch they work great or even a phillips head screwdriver uh something to hammer that down you can even take and flex this chain and it'll sometimes pop those Just like so, you bend that, pop it out of there, discard that one, throw it in the garbage, and you repeat, repeat the process. Um, this is a 36 inch loop. I'm gonna go down to 105 drive links for a 32. So I'll repeat that process and I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, now that you've uh, repeated the process, shortened your chain or whatever you had to do, uh, in my case, I had to take nine drive links, drivers off to make it a 105 drive link chain for a 32 inch bar. And uh, it's both 105 on my Husky and my still. So what you're gonna do is take your master link. There's a, a little divot that goes down towards the bottom of the chain. It goes on your in your guide rails so you get that on your hard surface there you know you can use anything axe or axe head anvil anvil um bench vice anything with a hard surface now i take my time when i smash these rivets down um because i want to make sure that master link is tight against the chain or against the drive links. A lot of times you can take your file and hold it down. 
That way you're not smacking your fingers. Now that starts mushrooming that rivet down over that master link. Just keep working it nice and easy. Make sure your master link stand down against the chain. Or you can use the big side. It's a lot easier. <laughs> but yeah, it just smashes them rivets down. You want to make sure and not get it too tight to where your chain does not move around the tip of your bar. I'll go a couple more times and this chain is ready to go. Now I hope this helps people. Um, this is just a short how to, um, how I deal with uh, making loops of chain. Um, again, a hammer, flat file, hard surface. It could be a rock, it could be anything. Um, yeah, make your own chain at home uh, when need be. Always carry, should always carry these uh, master links. I have a few, I actually ran out and I had to go snag some from my dad. Um, of course he's retired now, so he's just hanging out at home. But anyhow, hope this helps. Um, like, comment, subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. It helps me make more content. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm always available to try and lend a helping hand to anyone uh, in need. So, again, basic hand tools you don't need. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have all that high-end breaker, spinner, everything like that. Um, like I said, a punch would help you out greatly. Um, but file it down till it's flush with the uh, master link and just start flexing that chain or bend it right there. And it'll pop that right off them rivets. So anyway, have a good day. Thank you much.